In today's video, we'll be showing you how to make a gorgeous winter season vase. This vase can actually be useful any time of year in your garden or porch because we've created a different season on each side, so all you have to do is simply turn it as the seasons change. Begin by drawing a vase on paper. Cut out copies of this pattern in cardboard. Make sure to align the grain of the cardboard horizontally so it can be bent. Tape the sides together and glue the inside seam. Cut a bottom plate and glue this to the base. Cover your vase with foil. To get the greatest amount of grip, dribble hot glue over most of the foil surface, then apply to the cardboard quickly. In the same way, cover a mounting board with more foil. This will hold your vase while you work. Mount the vase onto the board with hot glue firmly. Mix a batch of Paltaya Premium. Apply small daubs of clay, 3 16 or about 5 mil thick. Blend down each of the edges of the daubs. This secures them against slumping. Once done, make each surface reasonably smooth and level. Use a fork to create the aggressive and deep scratch furrow coat. This allows more Paltaya Premium layers to be added at any time in the future. Remember to furrow coat the base and drill a drain hole with a pencil. Once covered with furrows, use a stick to straighten the edges. The furrows will make the surface a bit lumpy, so lightly use a rolling pin to level the curved surfaces without crushing those furrows. Paltaya Premium cures by strengthening over time. Wrap in plastic to keep the moisture in. The next day, it will be just firm enough to add wet towels under the plastic. This additional water increases your strength. The more days it's kept wet, the better. For the design, select various round cups and lids to help draw the right sized curves. The four sides of our vase will display the four seasons as a simple tree pattern. Each side will be slightly different. Since Paltai Premium is damp, tape both sides of the paper pattern to make it waterproof. Then trim the tape closely to the edge. When mixing the highly detailed surface coat, sift out about two thirds of the fibers. Since the strength is in the scratch coat, the detail coat can be made much finer. We recommend this only for very fine detail layers used in combination with the stronger underlying scratch furrow coat. This finer batch is correctly mixed when it can be vibrated and not be shiny on the surface. You can return for more work on your vase at any time after the scratch furrow coat has cured for at least one day. Same as before. Apply small daubs of Paltaya Premium to the vase on one side. Press fully into the scratch furrow coat. Blend each of their edges before applying the next daub. Level with a trowel, fork, or burlap and neaten the sides by pressing against a rubber kidney. Place the paper pattern on the surface and draw in the outline to hold it in place. Drape with fabric and roll the surface level. Next, remove the fabric and deeply inscribe your design. Use the cups to draw in the arched lines of the design. Deepen these lines as you go. A ball stylus will make rounded details easily. Use the burlap again to slightly texture the surface and remove the burrs from the lines. On the unfinished sides, clean out the scratch furrow coats. Wet and wrap in towels the earlier cured sides, but not the freshly made surface. Wrap in plastic to stiffen the new surface and continue the curing. Complete the remaining sides either later that day or over several following days. The scratch coat allows you to come and go as you need on your own schedule. On to the final finish. Once all the sides are done and cured at least one day, remove the foil core. Clean the inside with a fork, brush, or cloth. Neaten the top edge with a rasp and burr up some of the fibers. 
to apply the finish coat of Paltaya Premium, lightly mist the inside surface and top edge. Lay in a full strength batch of Paltaya Premium. Press it thinly into the surface and smooth with a trowel. Drape our lovely burlap fabric to impress a nice texture into the surface and the top edge. Lightly burn any excess fibers off the edge. Do this in a well-ventilated room. To complete the vase, it needs feet. Place upside down on a slightly damp shop towel and coat the base. Position four daubs as feet and stitch them down. Cover the feet with a piece of fabric so it doesn't stick and lay on a wooden board. Press down and level this board. For further curing and strengthening, wrap the sides carefully with a wet towel. Remember to sign your work. Wrap the entire vase in plastic for this final cure. We hope you enjoyed watching today's winter season vase that can be used all year round. That's the beauty of Paltaya Premium. You don't have to worry about your piece cracking or freezing. It'll stay beautiful even when covered in frost and snow. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell so you never miss another video. Also, send this video to a creative friend. We're always looking to inspire more people to create gorgeous pieces for the outdoors. Bye for now.